1989 Eagle Premier. Sweet. Nineteen eighty nine from Eagle Premier. Radiator hose from the head to the water pump. Got a busted hose. So I'm gonna replace. There's two hoses on either side. I'm gonna replace both of them. So I don't know if you can see that too good there or not, but Can you see that hose right there? There's one there and one directly across from it. It goes from each head to the to the water pump housing, which uh, the thermostat's right above that. back in behind the water pump. One comes off of, two, both of these come off the water pump. A large one and a small one. And then there's another hose. A hard piped hose that comes off too. Take the little heat sensor connector loose so that we don't damage that. Hold both sides. Wee <sighs> Got these hoses off of Amazon.com. Seven one three five six. Uh for some reason, they poke a little tiny hole in here and put a plastic, little plastic thing, string or whatever through there, I guess to hang it off of, but I don't know. I don't like people poking holes in my hoses. So. Give me a little dish soap here help slide these on. This is an Amway product. Uh, this is not the way to do this, but you know, ideally you want to check these hoses back here. It really hadn't been that long since I put this water pump on. I probably should have replaced these two hoses, but at the time they seemed to be pretty good shape. So anyway, we're paying the price now. Now this is not the way to the ideal way to do this. But what I'm doing is I'm taking that dish soap and rubbing it around on there so it'll slide on there better. Let's see if we can trim this hose down. Woo! Let me trim this hose down to the right size. If you're a professional mechanic, look away now. They've cut it three times and it's still too short.
turn these clamps this way so that I can get to them to, to put them on. Let's see if I can. Probably not going to work this time now that it's shorter. Probably don't have room to to bend. I think I'm going to take one of these off and just leave. Yes. If you're a professional mechanic, turn your head away. That saved a heck of a lot of time. Just doing it that way right there. Yeah, let me get my seven millimeter heavy antifreeze. I'm gonna have to go get some Pretty good. Hairy underarms. At least I've got deodorant on. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Extremely well. Loosen the clamps up as far as I can. Get her up here where I can get to her. There we go. There we go. Now. I'll make sure that these these hoses goes reasonably clean and doesn't have any burrs or anything. I didn't put any burrs on it while I was taking it off so it looks good. Okay, soap. What I like about the dishwashing soap is it it will dry up. Dry up and go away. I like this, uh, I think the dishwashing soap is the secret to doing it this way. Now let's see. Good. In case you're wondering about this <laughs> air conditioned compressor, it locked up. Didn't want to spend the money to get it fixed. So just rerouted the, the uh, serpentine belt, forgot about it. Pinch your back up before I forget it. There. Next project is this seal behind this distributor. Those are tight. Okay, got all the hoses back on. Got the antifreeze back in it. 
So we're ready to fire it up. bit of oil leaking down on that belt, making it squeak. Coming from the uh, seal behind this distributor, the uh, camshaft runs this distributor rotor. There's a seal in there. I'm going to have to replace it. The seal will be in the next week. No water leaks. Everything looks good. Looks like, looks like I did a decent job.